Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem, and we are in Figma today. We're not in Foundry, hooray, <laughs> just for a change. Um, looking at, we have finished the first four chapters of the Fandelva and Below campaign, uh, setting those up with all of our scenes and things. And I've mentioned several times about integrating the uh, Dragons of Ice Spire Peak into the same area, because the whole of that um, adventure series is based around Fandolin. So I wanted to bring you back to Figma. If you saw in the previous video, this is almost the same as what you saw previously with a few changes. So let me just uh, refresh you. Um, we start off the Fandelva campaign with a mission from Neverwinter to escort some goods to Fandolin. So each of these um, orange um, diamond shapes are specific encounters. So the Dangerous Journey, which is the Goblin Ambush, the Cragmore Hideout. And then we get to the locations where there may or may not be certain encounters, but they're more role-playing oriented. We've got Fandolin, Barthens Provisions, the Lion Shield, Costa, etc. We've then got the Red Brand Ruffians um, dealing with the Red Brand Hideout. Uh, Agatha's Lair, Old Owl Well, etc, 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 all the way through to Wave Echo Cave. Now above those, for Fandelva anyway, um, I've been putting in the basic plot hooks, missions, etc. So the red bits are where you can see at the top here, I've got a little bit of a legend, the quest giver, um, and where we hand those quests in. And it was helping just try and map these things as they get a little bit complicated. A uh, slight amendment since the last time you would have seen it is I have put in these sections. So the idea is, is that this section, in theory, they are pretty much level one all the way through doing all of this section. Uh, for this section, they are mostly going to be level two, level three, and then they achieve level four once they've completed Wave Echo Cave. Now, to make it a little bit clearer, now this is on the assumption of milestone achievement. Um, so I've put these red triangles in to indicate at what point in theory you say, ding, you've gained a level. So they complete Dangerous Journey, they investigate Cragmore Hideout, and then they finally actually deliver the goods they're supposed to be escorting to Barthens Provisions. Now, if they decided not to go to Cragmore Hideout and just went straight to Fandlin and straight to Barthens Provisions, they would not be getting that first level. Um, the chances are they would be sent back to investigate Cragmore Hideout, um, and they would be strongly encouraged by it all concerned to go and do that, because that really sets off the whole adventure. It's a bit of a weird one for them to miss out. Um, it means they're not going to encounter Sildar, etc. So you can throw some money at them if necessary. But once they've done all that, in theory, that's where they should get a level. Every group is different, and no matter how carefully you plan, they will throw it out the window, and that's a good thing. We want them to be doing their story in their way. Um, we just need to be flexible. So this could absolutely move. Um, once they go through all of this, they investigate the town, do a few things. Um, in theory, they will deal with the Red Brand Ruffians and the Red Brand Hideout. Um, and save the town from that particular set of troubles and gain a level. Now, in my experience, <laughs> they don't always deal with the red brand. Sometimes they go, oh, it doesn't sound like our problem. And off they go somewhere else, and they end up going to Agatha's Lair, Old Owl Well, and they do some of these areas before coming back to town, and then maybe then they will deal with the red brand hideout. So you need to be flexible. Um strongly recommend that they deal with the red brand hideout before they tackle Cragmore Castle but if they've decided to leave town and they're wandering around doing these things they may well find their way to Cragmore Castle without returning to town again uh, and I've got one group uh, that's currently running at the moment and that's absolutely the case uh, they're just finishing off in Cragmore Castle no they've just arrived at Cragmore Castle um, and they're not dealt with red brands <laughs> So they are technically under-leveled for this, so it's going to be dangerous for them. You know, good luck, that was their choice. <laughs> so they're, they're effectively, yeah, a level behind. Um, that's fine, they'll deal with Red Brand Hideout later, assuming they survive, and they can deal with that no problem and get that level as well. 
Uh, and then they go on to Wave Echo Cave. The completion of Wave Echo Cave gives them that other level. So that's all fairly much, fairly what we've looked at before. Now what I've added on to here, just zoom out slightly for you, is I've been through the Dragons of Ice Spire Peak, which isn't a cohesive A to B to C type of adventure. It's much more open world and a series of different quests, side quests. Basically, it's a whole module of side quests um, that they can go and do. So I've looked at the levels that each of those side quests are aimed at and I've tried to map them against what we've got already going on. So when they're first level and they get to Phandalin, the Dwarven Excavation and the um, uh, Nomengrade, or Nomengrad, however you want to pronounce it, um, should totally be available at this point because it's designed for first to second level characters. So when they're in Phandalin this first time, they're going to be available on the job board. They may do them, they may not do them. That's fine. Um, as they move on, next time they're kind of around in Phandalin, let me zoom out again, there isn't really anything in this area that comes from Ice Spire Peak for this level 2 area, but there's plenty going on with the red brands and in town and stuff, not worried. Once they're kind of hitting level 3, they're into the realms of some of these other ones from Ice Spire, um, the Umbridge Hill, Logger's Camp, the Butterskull Ranch, uh, Falcon's Lodge, which isn't an encounter, it's, a, it's an area they can visit, and the Tower of Storms. So these quests, these uh, requirements, will become available next time they're back in Phandalin, any point along here after they've dealt with the red brands those missions become available uh, and it might be that yeah you know, that they're collecting them right up here immediately after that before going and doing all these stuff they do not have to do it after doing Cragmore Castle they can do them before absolutely um, but they're totally achievable at that stage it doesn't matter if they do them a little bit earlier or a little bit later they'll just be a little bit harder or a little bit easier um, and of course, as a DM, we will try and flex encounters and stuff a little bit, you know, add an extra monster, take one off, etc. to balance it. And then once they've done Wave Echo Cave and their fourth level, we have a series of other uh, missions, if you like, that they can carry on and do. So some of these missions are for level four, level five and level six. Uh, so these are all just optional side quests. Now my problem with Ice Spire Peak is because there is no core mission, or no obvious core mission, um, you do end up just in a situation where you're just doing side quests. So you, I would carry this on until they feel they've had enough, till I can feel that they're losing some direction. Um, but bearing in mind they're going to be like level 6 at the end of this, this is where I may say, well, actually, doing Ice by a Hold, Slaying of the Dragon, that is the culmination of the adventure for these guys. Now, what I've not done, of course, is the original Fandelva campaign pretty much ends here with the solution um, solving the Wave Echo Cave, rescuing that, etc. Fandelva and Below the Shattered Obelisk does take us on beyond this. So I can start building that campaign along here, level 5, 6, 7, 8, in which case these side quests all continue to remain somewhat relevant. And what we might do is alter some of these, because the, the next chapters include the psionic goblins and things. We can start to alter some of these to tie that in so it becomes a whole area having trouble. But I just thought I would show the, share this with you, um, my kind of thought process of how we can integrate these things, give the other options. If they are skipping a lot of these encounters and you're thinking they're just gaining levels by only doing the core milestone stuff, brilliant. Make sure you send them off down a, down a rabbit hole sideways. Cragmore Castle, they get back from Cragmore Castle. You know, Gundren says, oh yes, okay, well here's a cave, let's go. And they're straight to Wave Echo Cave. You don't have to have Gundren recover immediately. You can have him effectively in a coma uh, with Sister Garrily uh, taking care of him for a day, a week, whatever it is that's going to fit for you. 
and in the meantime they can go off and do some of these other things so that you feel that they're earning that level rather than just jumping from level point to level point you know red brand hideout directly to cragmore castle directly to wave echo cave um, you can fill it out with other things make it interesting put some variety in there for them um <clears throat> figma it's great isn't it uh, <laughs> I love it because it does help map this stuff out, especially when you're merging modules or you're creating something completely yourself. So my next challenge for me is going to be, I want to make a start on it, although not, you know, I'm nowhere near through it yet. It's starting to do the same kind of mapping for the Curse of Strahd. Uh, now, Curse of Strahd is really interesting because there are four different hooks, adventure hooks, um, that you could take and the mission locations you will visit will depend on a specific set of tarot card readings they're not called they're tarot cards i think they're called um, not quite tarot cards but card readings done by effectively the the, the gypsy people um, and that defines where the key locations are so this suddenly becomes a bit more interesting and mapping it out in accordance with how you're going to run it for an individual group is probably really useful to know they can go everywhere to where are the key locations they need to go to um, we are definitely going to be building the curse of Strahd um, the question is of whether we're going to do that soon or whether we're going to do that once um, foundry version 12 comes out because there's some really groovy stuff happening with that haven't decided yet if you're strongly opinioned on that leave a comment in the uh, in the comments um, <laughs> oh, English is hard and it's my first language <laughs> um, yeah let me know in the comments if you've got an opinion on that because I still haven't decided what we're going to do about version 12 it's a little way off yet certainly a number of weeks um, do we want to wait around or do we want to crack on and do that I don't know it's up to us isn't it anyway thank you for watching you take care